going on guys, Neon here, and today we're back with another video for you guys. So today, we're doing a, uh, mod review, again, it's been a while, yeah. Another mod review, let's get into it. Mm. It's probably nice. <clears throat> Fuck. Okay, so today, we're going to be showing you the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod again, because, uh, Last one wasn't as detailed as this one, and we have had a couple updates since then. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing we got is the uh, coal generator, combustion generator, my bad. Which basically you put out like coal in here, add some water, helps com like, create combustion or whatever. Alright. And creates power, which we're using to power these two uh, thingies here, which I have no idea. Okay, so we're going to smelt something in here. These are, okay, so basically these are extremely big smelters. Very nice. Oh, wow, oh, that's pretty cool. So you're going to throw your stuff in there. Whatever it is that you might want to throw in there. So this, this is the... Q, Q, whatever the fuck it's called. So that goes in here, and then it's gonna smelt this, and then it's gonna go through to here. Which is really nice. So we got the same thing on this side. We got an advanced furnace on the, uh, advanced factory on this side. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna put the same four ores in here. Well, you know, we can fit all four of them in here this time. So it's got more space, and not to mention it smelts ten times faster than this. And look at it just going. It's just ripping through it. Come on, you had a head start. Come on. Ooh. It's getting close, I tell you. But this is basically a lot fower, uh, faster. This is the advanced uh, factory cluster. It's basically uh, it's the power to it. You have to have it in here, even if you got like this kind of setup going on. All right, well, it's already beaten this one. I don't know. Well, yep, it's, it's done. All right. Advanced factory versus regular factory. The advanced factory is obviously one already. Ooh. Very nice though. So this is like way faster than this. Alright. We'll go over goodies. Okay, so now we have a nuclear reactor. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Alright, so what you're gonna do for the nuclear reactor is you're gonna put your uranium rods in here. You might want to wear a hazmat suit for this. I'm in creative mode, so it really doesn't matter for me. But basically you just gotta click and drop it in there. Wow, this is painful. And as you see, I'm already getting affected by it, even though I am still in creative mode. So if you want to have, like, a lesser effect, I mean, the uh, the hazmat suit, even the best one, doesn't block it out 100%. But the, uh, the highest hazmat suit is probably the best hazmat suit to get, which I'll show you in the next video. Basically, today we're just reviewing all the machines and stuff. This is probably going to be a three-part series because... There's a lot of shit in this mod. <clears throat> Alright, so this changes the operating level. So you could operate it at 100% or down to zero, which that means it's off and won't do anything. So that's very nice. So we're going to fill a pathway. Okay, we're going to. Shit, shit. Oh, shit. Well, I just. Fuck that up. Alright, so basically, if you fuck up, like I just did. <sighs> okay, so I think that's the regular one. <sighs> fuck. Well, don't do what I just did right there. Yeah, I know the reactor core is not found. Alright, well, we gotta basically replace everything in here now. Which that means I get to show you the inside of this. Well, since there's no electricity ports anymore. We got a reactor chamber. Give me a moment, I gone and fucked it up. Mm. Okay, 
So we're gonna have that reactor boiler. So, so I think one goes on the bottom. I don't know if it goes the whole way through or not. I think it should. I, mean, I, don't, I have no idea. I'm gonna put these on the side like this. Control rods in the middle. Is there a core I don't know about here? Where is it? Well, okay. Well, this is... So don't do that. Don't forget to add water before you start up the freaking reactor. So you, then you might not be able to shut it off in time. And then <laughs> Chernobyl 2.0. Let me out of here, you little freaking skank. And then you get, oh my god. You get a wand. But this still doesn't fuck anything up. Alright, so we're going to use our structure wand. We're going to set it to nuclear reactor. There we go. All fixed. Only because I'm a dumbass and don't know how to fix normally. <laughs> Alright, so you want to make sure the reactor's off next time. And it has the barrels that I had in here but forgot to add because... I forget stuff. <clears throat> so if you're if you're ever in creative mode and you want to uh, make a new structure, use the construction. No, 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 not the construction one. Is it there? Oh, I have no idea. All right. Basically, we're gonna fill this up. We're gonna add this ahead of time so we don't forget next time. And basically, what that's gonna do. This is gonna like, cool down the reactor so it doesn't blow its top like it did before. And this is gonna create that steam that you need for the steam turbines <coughs> which I'm going to show you in just a second this is a really complicated mod and it's really hard to explain that's all I can say alright so now we got the water in now we have to do, put the steam somewhere so what we're going to do this is light steam I mean this is the regular steam so we gotta we gotta get our fluid duct so we gotta get the regular steam card. We got. We're gonna get our fans fluid duct. We're gonna put that in here. Notice how it's not connecting to this because this has already been changed over to the steam. So we're gonna change this over to steam as well. So it goes from here. <coughs> Whatever's in here. Okay. So these are all the identification cards for the steam turbine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start it up. We're gonna start it up at pretty low power, you know. Just so it doesn't blow its top, but it does generate the steam that we need. And so what that steam is gonna do, it's gonna come over here. Hopefully. Yeah, okay, there it is. It's gonna generate power, which is gonna go into this block which is a power line actually so that's really nice so that's gonna bring us to our next thing in a couple minutes we're just gonna let that fill up <clears throat> so the thicker the steam you have the more dense everything is gonna be which is gonna make it work faster and this is our empty water tank right here so any uh, water that comes off of this is gonna go right into here So, so, since I'm an impatient little guy. Alright, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna crank it up the whole entire way because I'm getting impatient. Alright, so we're gonna crank that up a little. Now you gotta watch the levels of it here because if it gets over here, it's gotta blow its freaking top like Chernobyl. Did I put the fuse in there? Do we even need a fuse? Oh, that's not even a fuse. Fuck. I thought that was a fuse. I'm confused. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to come over here. See, it's generating steam, which means it should be generating power. So we're going to go ahead and run over here real quick. <clears throat> See if it's actually generating electricity. It should be. It should be going into these blocks over here, which I'll show you in a minute what they all do. See, it's generating power from there. See, that just went up, so that means our steam turbines are in fact working. Which is really freaking nice. <clears throat> 
Now you want to make sure your uh, power plant's really far away from the base too, just in case this ever happens. Because then it's it's just a nasty mess. Look at that, very nice. So we're, everything's looking good over here on the water side. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna crank it up the whole entire way because the higher the uh, this is uh, dense steam. What we're going on for here is super dense steam, which is probably the best steam you can get because it's the most compact, which means it's going to be like a whole lot better. That's gonna go into this one, which is gonna, gonna go into this one. Oh, we gotta change these out as well. So basically, you just slide your little card in here, you know, kind of like a card reader or something. Go whoop, there you go. Stupor dense steam, which is oh fuck, that's right. Okay, which turns into dense steam, which turns into the light steam. <clears throat> I did that backwards, I know. <clears throat> oh fuck, that means I got also got to change this. Fake. Okay, well I I kind of fucked up there again. But we're gonna change that into that and this into this. There we go. We should have full. There we go. See, that's really generating power now. Look at it. It's just going crazy. It's like. No idea where the steam's going right now. It's going into here. I think it's just like dis disappearing. Freak. I also forgot to set the water tank. Very nice. <clears throat> Don't mind me, I forgot to do some stuff. I really didn't have time to test all this out. But then anyway, we're gonna grab our card for this as well. This is how you change the tank over to a water tank. And there we go, it just took all the water from here. Look at it going crazy, it's like, oh well. So I bet in like 10, 20, 30 minutes, our first two blocks will be filled up. Our other two hold a lot more power, so that's probably gonna take more, a little more while. See, that one's already filled up. This one's filled up. Okay, now it's working on this one, which is like the second to highest energy storage block. This is the extreme storage block, which just stores so much freaking power that you could probably power your Minecraft base for years. <laughs> Alright, so that's the uh, nuclear reactor. Now we're moving on to the fusion reactor. For, um, hmm. Shit. Wow. We're going to have a lot of power. I'm going to grab this. We're basically connected to the same power line. Alright, so we're going to put this right here. We're going to grab our drum. This is how you set up a power line in this mod, which is the HBM Nuclear Tech mod. So. It's gonna go from there, and we're gonna grab a cable so it goes from there into here. See how that nicely that connects up? Now we're gonna click. We're gonna we gotta click the bottom of the base right there, and we're gonna try to get it over here. And there we go. It should look something like this. <clears throat> okay, now what we gotta do? We're gonna put all this inside. Okay, we're just gonna clear the inventory for now. So this is basically all your electrical connections. Drum. All right, then we grab that. Just in case we need it later. So now what we're gonna do is start this up. Well, it looks very complicated. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this. So basically, we're gonna grab our fusion cores. We need four fusion cores to start this up. <clears throat> four fusion cores and uh, <clears throat> got. Two Deuterium and tritium, or whatever the fuck it is called. I'm not a scientist, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so our water bucket barrel is going to go right here. This is going to be the power output. Okay, so that this is going to go here. Work, dang it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Damn it. How did I fuck up that quick, easily? So we're looking for a tritum or whatever the fuck it's called. All right, I grabbed the wrong thing. I don't know why. How I grabbed the wrong thing. 
Alright, so now we're going to grab the right thing, because the right thing for the right reactor would probably help. Alright, so now what we're going to do is add this in, and boom, just like that, it's starting to generate power straight to their lovely power blocks over there. <coughs> now the next reactor. <laughs> this one's a fun one. So we're going to do the same to this one. I want to see if we can actually fill up the whole entire block before this mod showcase is over. I mean, this this mod review video is over. Alright, so we're going to end it here. Oh, fucking hell. Sometimes you get an error, which means you got to set up another one. Basically, we're going to have a whole bunch of power lines running around here. So we're going to click start. And this is a really nice mod, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got that all set up. Now we have the... Oh, 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 the Fusionary Watts React. I, I have no idea which one this is. Watts Power Plant. That's what it is. My dumb ass. Alright, so for this, you need a titanium filter. And you need a uh, Watts Pellet to start this up. I feel like you need something else. I And I feel like I forgot that something else. Okay, no, 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 we were right. So we need the filter in here. <coughs> we're going to grab a lead ref We're going to grab two of these, two of the LES pellets, and two of the pure scarabium pellets, or however the fuck you pronounce that. <laughs> like everything else is click and drag. It's very painful. And the poisonous mud is not going into here. It's going into the tank back here. Which you might need more than one because there is a lot of poisonous mud that comes out of here. Especially if you have like pure scrabium pellets or just a lot of the pellets and no, none of these. So if you have none of those, then you're going to have a bad time. Look at how much power that is generating though. <clears throat> Very nice. That creates from like a that creates a whole shit ton of power. One hundred thousand mhg, very nice, very nice. <clears throat> Same for this one. We're gonna connect this one. Click. Boom. We're gonna review the missiles in the next episode of this. Yes, we have to use episodes because there's got obviously gonna be more than one. Notice how this looks like a weird... It looks like kind of like an alien spaceship. In truth, it probably is. I don't know. It just laying in here one day, and we don't know where it came from or why it's like that. Alright, so we're going to set that up. We're going to connect this into this. Alright, so this is the fusionary Watts reactor. With our regenerative cooling right there. So you don't have to add any cooling because it already regenerates it itself. So basically, this is a very supersized, oversized magnet. So now we need to power it with a single narrowity. <coughs> so first thing we're going to do, this is a normal single narrowity. Or <laughs> I'm really butchering it today. This is a superheating, resonating single narrowity, and this is a black hole, miniature black hole. So whatever you do, don't drop it. Because if you drop it, then you're completely fucked. And what that's going to do is going to start the reaction. Boom. As soon as it gets up there, it's going to start reacting. And it's going to start creating that power that we so desperately desire. Look how much power, the top amount of power it can generate. Whew. Look at all that power. Like 10... Oh my god. 10,000... No. Now we're going to do the same thing. But with it, uh, basically, I think it's like makes it faster or something. Shit, we got our superheated one. I have no idea what these actually do, but I'll do something. <coughs> and we got our miniature black hole. I gotta watch these antimatter and anti-scrabium. 
but look how much power it's generating. Whew. And we ran out of this. If just gonna shut off, I mean, nothing bad's gonna happen. It's not gonna blow up or anything. But like I said before, if you drop one of these, it's all over. See, I would drop one for demonstration, but it makes my game crash. So we don't want to do that. Alright, so basically this is it for this one. Very nice, anti-scrabio, anti-matter. And the regenerative coolant tank, which is this little thingy. It's very interesting. Alrighty. Now if you want to start feeling American, okay. We're not even going to do this one because this one's too complicated, but... <clears throat> If you want to, if you want to feel American, what better way to do it than with oil? Hmm. So now we gotta set up this freaking oil pipe thingy. We have lots of stuff: biogas, petroleum gas, gas tanks, gas centrifuge. Very nice. So basically, we're gonna just try to get this up and running. So we're gonna grab our fuse. Yeah, it does take a battery, so we're gonna use like probably the most. I'm probably gonna use a scrabium battery or an infinite. Ah, yeah, we're gonna use the infinite battery. All right, so we're gonna put the infinite battery in here. Now it's not gonna do anything until you put the fuse in, I think. Or maybe it's already okay. It's already doing something. I have no idea what the fuse is for. I think it's just for the gas outlet and stuff. <clears throat> Okay, so the first thing we want to do is <clears throat> we'll make sure we have a holding tank for this because it's going to fill up probably really quickly. So we've got to set up our holding tank. This is straight up crude oil. This is an oil pipe. It's going to go into there. Same for the oil derrick. We're basically going to connect them both into the same thing so it avoids any confusion. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we got to set up this, the gas flare. Which also, like before. But this is actually really useful if you actually want to collect natural gas. See, look at that. It collects natural gas and generates electricity as well. Does it actually do that in real life? So basically what you're going to do is put your empty gas tanks in here. Okay, it's probably burning it off. Yep, it's burning it off. If you go up here, actually, it actually gives you weakness. It's really interesting. I don't know why I want to be up there anyway, but... I'm feeling really American right now, though. We got oil! Oil! Oh, shit. I keep burning. I have no idea what this is for, actually. Weird. Okay, so this is going into here, obviously. Look how, how much oil we got already. I'm really feeling American now. <laughs> Okay, me just waiting for it to fill a fuck. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh. Something's spitting out here. Oh, it's this little thing. He's like, what the heck is that? Okay, when we actually get enough natural gas to do anything. <sighs> okay, well, whatever. Why does it keep burning it all off, damn it? Look how it go. <laughs> Which means we found an oil deposit right under here. And if we check our little scanner thingy, which is in fact in here somewhere, there is indeed an oil deposit detected directly below us. No, that's, <clears throat> that's why it's right over here. We got oil derrick, we got oil refinery. Alright, so, basically, if you want to refine your oil into like anything like Well, that's nice. If 
you want to refine your oil into anything like gasoline or something you're gonna want to put this in here you're gonna have to supply it with some power so once again we're gonna go get our little battery look at actually working though look we're working we're working like a well-oiled machine <laughs> she is no funny <laughs> that's that she is kind of funny and we should be getting our thingy soon hopefully come on <laughs> all right so we gotta add this in here okay so, oh, frick that's right we need a boiler so halfway through here we're gonna need a boiler <clears throat> I forgot about the boiler okay all right so right we need a elect we're gonna use an electrical boiler because that's probably easier to like manage and stuff so basically you're gonna have to set this into this so all the crude oil comes in here and the output should go directly into here once we get okay. you get the hot crude oil identification card we're gonna get the hot crude oil pipe I wish you know we could have just used the pipe <coughs> All right, so once again, like we're powering everything else, we're gonna use the infinite battery. Basically, that's gonna warm it up. If you don't have enough tank for tanks for some reason, or if you need like an overflow tank just in case your first tank's already being used, then we're just gonna set up a little tank on the side here. Nothing too special. So we're going to have to set that one to output mode here in a second. So what we're going to have to do is just, we're going to completely disconnect that pipe. Just so it doesn't fuck up anything. Alright, so we're going to set it to output mode. It should be pouring into here like white on rice. And the hot crude oil is going to be going into here. Which is going to start creating heavy oil, naphtha, light oil, and petroleum gas. <clears throat> I don't know why we all have all this anyway. I mean, we're not going to be creating any cars soon, but that's beside the point. There's probably a way more stuff that's probably in here. Like, okay, so once this thing fills up, we're going to get our first gas tank. We're going to take some of these. Which is going to be petroleum gas. It's actually really cool if you think about it. So we're going to fill all these up. This is going to fill up with petroleum gas. Alright, and we're also going to get our... Uh, we're gonna get our fuel tanks. We're just uh tanks. Alright, we're gonna need a canister instead. Oh, we can just use this. Right, so we're gonna fill up our canisters then. So we get light oil, napatha, and heavy oil. Which I don't know what we can do with the heavy oil yet. Well we'll find out eventually. And here we are, our first petroleum gas tank. Very nice. So now we're gonna have to get a chemical factory <clears throat> to turn some of this into diesel for our generator or something. Alright, so now hmm we're we're gonna have to grab okay, we got a turbo fan. Oh my god, I forgot what I was looking for. Ah, yes. I guess we don't have it. <laughs> so we gotta get our chemical plant. This is we're gonna have to turn into diesel before you can use it for a generator. Diesel generator, naphtha processing, light oil processing. I'm gonna grab all these just in case. Okay. Why do we need the diesel solidification? Okay, so now we're gonna get diesel and kerosene from this. We're gonna get. Hmm, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna use this one. Our inputs are one mil, uh, yeah, one bucket of light oil, which we got right here. Oh, no, that's, that's not the one. 
Light oil. All right, so we're gonna grab our light oil. Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna create diesel for a generator. Fuck, I, once again, I forgot about the power. Yeah, so yeah, actually, all those nuclear reactors and stuff are probably gonna help with any of this, uh, like, chemical processing and stuff. And boom, right there, you get kerosene and diesel. Which, I think kerosene can also work with the diesel generator. I have no idea. <laughs> so you get the diesel generator. Okay, so we're gonna grab our empty canisters now. <clears throat> I'm gonna have two of these. Now, what I would like to use personally, right, there we go. We got these. I think both. I think both diesel and kerosene will work for the generator. I'm not absolutely sure, so please do not quote me on this. <clears throat> so we're gonna have the. We're gonna test. Okay. So that you just throw it in there. It automatically assumes it's diesel. But if you want to use like a different kind of a fuel. Okay, but never mind. That's not going to work anyway. We're going to try it anyway, though. Use kerosene. Nope. Oh, okay. I want fuel back. Okay. Oh, well. Ugh, uh, shit. So basically, the only four only fuels they can use is the diesel, petrol oil, biofuel, and night and super fuel, which is really expensive to make. <laughs> now, if we're using a uh, piston engine radial, <coughs> we're gonna use a radial performance engine, which is actually kind of the weirdest engine you could probably. We're gonna use all all the pistons here. So oh, it's V nine. <laughs> Is that even possible? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna use pretty much any kind of oil and stuff. So yeah, we could have used kerosene in this one, but we don't have any more stuff. So. All right. So basically, that's the chemical processing plant, the oil, and uh, the oil. crap. We're, we're like probably losing product now. Hmm. I forgot to set this little thing up. Okay. Yep. And we still haven't got our freaking oil. <clears throat> Alright, so that's it for that. Alrighty. Now we have our mining automatic mine drill, which is pretty freaking easy to get. Alright, so we're going to use our Scrabium battery. We actually have a battery for this one. Amazing, I know. All right, so it's gonna start mining. It's gonna start outputting stuff into here, since that's that's where everything is. See, we got cobblestone now. But if you want to make it faster and wider, this is the, the uh, effects thing. We're gonna use the top effects for each one. like the speed my uh, great upgrades for the mining drill and stuff so we're gonna throw these three in here and that should make it faster hopefully no 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 we don't need the power saving upgrade there we go now it should okay well maybe we do oh shit Okay, we're gonna get infinite battery again. <coughs> Swap that. Whew. Dang, takes out more power than I was expecting. This area is still going pretty goddamn slow. Oh, that's fine. We're going to just straight up performance here. Because we just we, we just want to make a point. So basically, it just digs a little hole. Look at that. Very nice. I I have to admit it's pretty cool. So if you actually like want a spiral staircase or something, you could just do that. And this is still going. Dang. Oh, oh, oh. 
oh, 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 come on, come on, ah, alrighty, well, <clears throat> ah, shit, so the very last thing we're going to check is that little thing over there, it's not really little, I mean, <laughs> it takes so freaking long to fit, get this thing filled up, I, I tell you. Jeez, mm, alright. Well, that's pretty much everything for the part one of this mod review. Part two will be coming out tomorrow. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.